Hello again, I am Blunty. Today, absolutely no one who keeps an eye on photography leaks and rumours was surprised when Nikon announced their much leaked and rumoured new mirrorless camera system, which they're calling Nikon One, or Nikon One, depending on how you choose to pronounce it. I go with Nikon, sounds more Japanese, I think. Anyway, they're calling the first two in this new Nikon Nook the V1 and J1, the first of the Nikon One cameras to hit the market. I went to the press briefing and, in short, the specs look interesting, the feature set looks fascinating, the assortment of lens options at launch, actually those were kind of uninspiring. With the camera, the family of one Nikon lenses covers practically every scene. They're optimised for movie recording and boast compact design. The ultra thin 10mm lens is a fast, wide angle lens that slips easily into the bag for sharp shooting shots on the go. Extremely compact and lightweight, one Nikkor VR 10 to 30 lens, a three times zoom with wide angle capability and a great lens for everyday scenarios. The one Nikkor 30 to 110 is a truly portable telephoto lens that allows you to get great photos of distant subjects. And the one Nikkor VR 10 to 110 power zoom is designed specifically for video. People who love shooting video, boasting a power drive zoom switch with adjustable speed. It captures superb full high definition video in great clarity. I was told repeatedly by our hosts that there are only six of these cameras in the whole of Australia right now. And I only got about 47 seconds of time with one in my hands under very strictly controlled conditions. And most of that with someone nagging at me over my shoulder, trying to be helpful. So it's far too early to give any real opinion on the feel and performance of the cameras besides my instant first impressions of them being very carefully developed, but also kind of awkward to actually operate. They didn't feel very intuitive at all. Unfortunately, it will be, at best, very late October before I even get a chance to go properly hands-on with a review unit so I can put it through its paces properly and unmolested. Online photography forums have already exploded with, well, let's be kind and call it a discussion instead of what it actually is, which is insipid, ill-informed, haterade fueled bitching by ignorant morons who fear change. My advice, be patient. Wait till these cameras are on shelves and in the hands of reviewers proper. I wasn't blown away by my brief and heavily supervised experience with the Nikon One cameras, or Nikon One cameras, but if you're into photography or uh, just a hopeless gear hound gadget nerd like me, it's worth keeping an eye on these new Nikons. Nikons. In any case, I'm withholding judgment until I actually get to go properly hands-on with one for at least a few days. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty, and I'll catch you next time. Keep moving so clouds don't come